The rotation of cyclones in the northern and southern hemispheres can be understood through an analogy with the right-hand thumb rule, often used in physics to describe vector directions like magnetic fields or angular momentum. Cyclones are low-pressure systems where air flows inward and is deflected due to the Coriolis effect, a consequence of Earth's rotation. In the northern hemisphere, if you point the thumb of your right hand upward, representing the direction of the low-pressure core, the curl of your fingers shows the counterclockwise direction of wind rotation around the cyclone. This happens because the Coriolis force deflects moving air to the right of its path. In the southern hemisphere, if you point your thumb downward, again toward the low pressure center, your fingers curl clockwise, matching the rotation of cyclones in that hemisphere, where air is deflected to the left. The Earth's eastward rotation causes these deflections, to the right in the north and to the left in the south. This force acts perpendicular to the direction of motion and the axis of rotation, influencing large-scale atmospheric movements like cyclones. Therefore, while not a direct application of the electromagnetic rule, a similar hand-based mnemonic aids in recalling the opposing rotational directions of cyclones in the two hemispheres due to the Coriolis effect.